Hey, welcome back guys. So in the last video we created the comments uh, resolver with the query as well as the mutation. And we went into a little hiccup as I was using the wrong query. And also I uh, learned kind of on video that you should be using async await on all of these as these are asynchronous operations. So in this video we're going to tackle the idea resolver. Let's open this up and this up. Now luckily we're just gonna be reusing the service that we created earlier. So the hard part's already done in when we created the REST API. Unfortunately um, we have quite a bit to do so I'm just gonna write out all the queries and mutations to give you an idea. So we have ideas, which is all of them. We also have to get the a specific ID idea by ID, like so, and that returns an idea. Um, yeah, let's make it uh not return null, so it's never null. Type mutation, and then we have quite a bit of mutations, so. Let's go through this one by one. So we need to create, which gives back us an idea. And create takes in the idea, which is a string, as well as the description, which is a string. So basic CRUD operation, so create, update, which takes in the ID, as well as idea or description, um, both of which are optional because we're gonna update by we're gonna update using type form, so these things are not necessarily required. And then uh, we also need to delete the idea, so that only needs an ID and then we go into the upload ID download and also I believe Let's see, votes, upvote, downvote, and then bookmarks. And bookmarks is a little different because it's returning us the user. Uh, yeah, it returns the user. So bookmark, ID, gives us back a user, and then unbookmark. Okay, so one last change, um, because the del delete mutation gives us back the ID, uh, the idea, but um, type form, when you delete something, it removes the ID completely, so we're just going to make ID optional, so it, it can be null, and we're also going to change it in the user, uh, because for the same reason. Um, so now we're allowing the ID to be null. And now we just need to implement all of these mutations. So let's go into the idea resolver. Let's add the query for the single idea. Idea. Let's see, that is taking in just the ID, so that's all we need. At args, and then return this dot idea service dot show read. Yeah, it was read. 
ID. Okay. And then the thing that we learned from the comment resolver is that these needs need to be a sync await. So let's do that. Okay. So that's the first thing. Now for all the mutations. So let's add the mutations. I'm gonna add it right here. Mutation. Uh, make sure that it's coming from GraphQL. Thank you. And this is gonna be async. Um, create idea. And see, we need to apply the guard to all of these actually. So after the mutation, we're gonna use the use guard. New auth guard. And that'll give us the access to the user context. So args idea idea string args description description and context user user import context let's come over the right place cool all right, so a couple things. Uh, we need to first, um, what's that called? We need to create the data object, which is a type idea DTO. And this takes in the idea and description. And these come from here. And this comes from here. Also, we need to import the type and then we also need to destructure the ID from the user and I'm gonna alias it as user ID so then we could reuse the same code oh wait this dot idea service dot this is a create it needs the user ID first then then the data, so user ID, data. All right, so one mutation's done. Let's do the next. Um, it's gonna be pretty similar, so I'm just gonna copy and paste. Copy, paste. This is gonna be update idea. And let's see, we, also need the ID now, so let's do that. args ID, which is a string, and uh, let's see. This is gonna be an update. And update takes in ID and user ID, and then the data. Okay, so that would be ID goes here. And that should do it. Next is delete. Delete idea. Which we don't need this. And we don't need this either. Delete. I think I called it destroy actually. Alright, and that takes in ID and user ID. So. And this is this is where destructuring the the user ID like this is important because the alias will make sure that there's no naming confliction between ID and user ID. Alright, so next up is so we did these three. Now we need upload and download. And that's gonna that takes in just the ID, so look a lot like this one. So make sure we change this to upvotes. 
Okay, no less. Do 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 do. Up. Uh, oh. Make sure it's the correct ordering on the arguments. Cool. Down votes. Down vote. Okay. And then finally, the bookmarks. So that will be bookmark. And let's see. Oops, go away. Uh, bookmarks is. Yep. Exactly the same. So bookmark, which takes in the ID first and then the user ID. And then finally. Unbookmark, which all we need to do is add the un in front and in front of here, and that should do it. I'm pretty sure I got everything. Um, let's, let's double check really quick. Um, yeah, that looks good. So let's test it out. Yarn. Start the and was it localhost four thousand slash GraphQL? Yeah, refresh. There it is. Okay, cool. So it looks like I already tried this giant query. Let's make sure it works, and it does. So this is getting all the users with the ID and created and username. And inside of that, we're getting the comments, the bookmarks, and the ideas. And inside of ideas, we're also getting the comments correlating to that specific idea. So it's quite a bit. Um, I'm just going to grab this. Yeah, just that uh, UID really quick. Get rid of all that. Let's test out the read one. And ID, idea, description. Boop. That looks right. Um, if we go with all of the ideas, we get a little more stuff. Let's grab this one. And uh, unknown argument. Oh, right. This is still plural. There we go. Cool. Now, let's comment out the query because we're going to do some mutations. Instead of creating a comment, we're going to create idea. I don't need the see description here bean app saying cool beans idea description send all right cool let's check the uid to make sure that it created so in here I'm also going to check the upvotes and downvotes. Boop. Cool. All right. So let's do another mutation uh, before we delete it. I'm going to do update. Update idea. And let's do a real description. So a in app of some sort send all right we need the id for this there we go uh let's 
check. Let's check a voting. A vote. Up votes. Down votes. Down votes. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, cool. That works. And what else do we need to check? Um, we check create. We checked update. Up vote and down vote works. Uh, let's check bookmarks. Bookmark. And bookmark gives us a user, so so we need to check the user's bookmarks. Idea description, and let's do upvotes. And there it is. There's our bean app that we created. Now all we need to check is delete con or delete idea. Yeah, description, send, there it is, and then it's deleted, so we can't, it should give us an error if we try this again, and there it is, it's not found. So there we go, we created our idea resolver. So, um, yeah, our GraphQL server is pretty much done. It's it's just a wrapper over our REST API, so we didn't have to do much data manipulation. And I think it's time to start on the front end. Alright, I'll I guess I'll conclude this series and I'll start the Angular projects in the next video. I'll see you guys next time.